What's up guys? It's Erica with Not Your Average EDC. Got a whole bunch of updates for you guys today. It is a rainy but warm Tuesday here in New Hampshire. Going into work soon. Um, wanted to do a quick video on some updates. So, as you can see, we have the mini Osborne here, the 945. And the micarta scales came in. Thank you, Jeremy. I appreciate it. Uh, these feel great. So these are very grippy. I really like the feeling of these so far. These are the green flytanium micarta scales. I installed them last night. They came in. Um, really enjoy the feeling of them. It doesn't change like the size of the knife, obviously, which is still an issue for me. However, it's definitely more grippy, so that helps. Uh, I will be doing some recorded, controlled testing with this knife, hopefully this weekend. Um, Nicole and I will both be doing that, so I'm really excited. This, I'll, I'll be honest with you guys, like, I just don't like the feeling of this compared to the 940, and I, it's not even a 940. Like, this is a small, slicey, fantastic EDC knife, um but I'm never going to like it as much as the 940 because I'm literally obsessed with my 940. Like I have an emotional connection and relationship with this knife. So um, I will try to not make it biased in regard to this, but I will tell you right now, like I just, I love my 940. <laughs> so we'll be doing some recorded controlled testing with this knife. Very excited about that. Um, curious to see how these scales patina as well really nice so that'll be coming up uh last night i also changed a couple things on the bug out that we're testing so i had the black um like regular benchmade clip on here i changed it to a deep carry clip from lynch northwest and it is bead blasted and i figured it would kind of match the uh cerakote on this m4 blade so it's kind of like flowing now obviously this is like completely cosmetic uh, none of this actually matters. I just think it looks cool. And I changed the black thumb stud to a, like, gr matte gray one that I acid etched. So it all just matches. And I think it looks really good. Uh, one thing I am noticing is the Cerico on these scales is definitely wearing off. Now, I will say I purposely have both of these knives, like, kind of riding next to each other in the pocket like this on purpose because I'm I'm not testing like the integrity the integrity of these applied weapon tech scales. I already know that they're fantastic. I've used applied weapons tech before. Um, they're amazing. They're just amazing machined scales. But I am testing the Cerakote and how it holds up because I love testing Cerakotes. I've noticed so far that Rec Custom Shop does the best Cerakote that I can find. Um, some people say they're all the same. In my testing, they're not. So I'm testing literally just how this coating holds up on these and just like the overall feel of the scales. So the Cerakote is wearing off, but I will say I am literally like carrying them like this. And like all day long from morning to night, the 940 is purposely rubbing up on the bug out in my pocket just to record general wear if you were to carry like that or uh if you just had anything rubbing up against the Cerakote all the time I want to just kind of like record how long it takes to wear off so just for the record you guys see that come on it does not want to focus um we do have some wear now it is not nearly as bad as I thought it would be I've been carrying them like this for like a week, just like constantly riding up against each other. This is pretty impressive to be honest. And no, this is not like aluminum rubbings or anything. This is the coating actually being completely worn down to the raw aluminum. So it is, it, in my opinion, holding up very well for how much it's rubbing. Uh, but just like a forewarning to anyone, if you get these scales and you have something continuously going up against it, like the Cerakote is going to wear off. <sighs> Let's see. Um, yeah, so this one is riding along with a couple of new things. I really like deep carry clips. Um, 
And then on the 940, I changed it to an, kind of like an OG clip here. This is a like an original Benchmade clip. It, it usually comes with the black parkerized coating. I stripped it. I stripped all the coating off. And then I dipped it in some ferric chloride for like a minute. And it created this like beautiful matte gray coloration. And I just left it like that. I didn't stone wash it. I didn't do anything. So it's just... Um, all the wear on it now is just natural scratches and bumps and bruises, which looks really cool. So, um, yeah, this did have the satin deep, no, not deep carry, satin split arrow clip. And I put this one on instead because I bent that clip. I don't know when and I don't know how, but uh, last night when I was working on my knives, it was like popping up and was like rattling on the knife. And um, at some point I will bend that back into shape, but just when I have time. So new clip on the 940 and an update on the edge. Last night it officially was dull. The edge was dull. So we are finally beginning our testing of different types of edges. The first edge that I am testing is a very coarse edge. I took this on the DMT stones last night. I only did the coarse stone. So it's that blue diamond coarse stone. I sharpened it on that, and that's it. Uh, no other stones. So this is a very coarse, toothy edge. It was so toothy that this morning, when I was feeling it, it it like almost felt like sandpaper. So I did twenty um, like swipes on the strop with the black compound, uh, twenty in total. So like one, two, like that. So twenty in total with the black compound just to try and get some of those like little burrs off um, because it was so freaking toothy. So just to document where our edge is at. Come on Erica, hold the paper the right way. So it's sharp, but it has a lot of tooth to it. Um, I don't know how that will fare. I don't know how long that will last. We will see. I just want to try to get all different types of edges on here. So very toothy, sticky edge to start with for testing. And we'll see how long it lasts and just how it does at work and stuff. And um, yeah, that will be the first edge that we test. Is there anything else? Oh, uh, two kind of like off topic announcements. Number one, the Danner boots that you guys were curious about. I had to stop wearing those. I don't know what happened. I broke them in. Everything was fine. And then uh, it they were bruising my toes for some reason. They're not too small. I don't know literally. Like, I don't know what happened. They just started getting extremely uncomfortable and, like, bruising my toes. So those boots are gone as beautiful as they were. Not wearing them anymore. I got new boots over the weekend. So we're going to be testing these now. These are... Um, Ariat boots. They are an equestrian company. I've never used anything from them before. I just know a little bit about their stuff, but these are uh, some like work boots that they make that are supposedly for um, warehouse work, farm work, stuff like that. They're super comfy. So not a mock style boot like I usually wear, but I am testing these and we'll see how these work. So far, they're very comfortable, much warmer than the Danners and um, cheaper definitely cheaper and they're also waterproof they're not steel toe i don't really need steel toe but they they feel really nice so far so these are the new booties and one last an an announcement before i go um moving forward with the channel because we're getting a lot of new subscribers a lot of new people on board i have a zero tolerance level for a couple things um number one anybody being like excessively negative in the comments Number two, anyone commenting on basically anything aside from knife stuff. So I'm talking um, physical appearance. I am talking about haircuts. I am talking about uh, sexual orientation comments. Anything like that, I will immediately delete and you will immediately be blocked. Um, the comments made about me, I don't really care um, because I'll just kill you. Uh, but... Anything made about Nicole is really starting to get to me. Um, it's unacceptable, guys. Unacceptable. 
this is not a place to be creeping on Nicole and looking at her physical appearance and making comments. Um, she has come onto the channel to bring some different opinions and sights and knowledge to the entire movement. Um, I know she is beautiful. Keep it to yourselves. Like, you have no place commenting on that kind of stuff here. You are not entitled to anything here. I will block you. You are gone. I don't give a shit. Like, enough creeping on her. All over, okay? So, um, it blows my mind that I have to say that. But, um, yeah, you will be a goner. I don't give a shit. So, with that being said, guys, go use your shit today. Go carry a 940 and try some different edges on it. Go carry a bug out and put some applied weapons tech scales on it. Go use your motherfucking shit today because it's fun. And I will see you on the next video. Bye, guys.